Okay, so this is the key to rational expressions number four. And basically, in, in these problems, you're going to be adding or subtracting as indicated. Now, in this work, on this worksheet, you'll notice that either the denominators are exactly the same or they are opposites. All right, so that, that's the uh, thing about this worksheet. So either they're the same or they're opposites. It is in the next worksheet where they're going to be different and you would have to you would have to find the LCD. Okay, so so let's look at number one. So number one, we have um, we have six x divided by seven x plus twenty one plus eighteen divided by seven x plus twenty one. So remember, when adding or subtracting rational expressions, when adding and subtracting fractions, the denominators must be the same. Once the denominators are the same, then you can write it as one rational expression with that denominator. And so this is an easy one because this is an addition problem. It's with subtraction, you have to be careful. So here, my numerator is going to be 6x plus 18. That's what my numerator is. Okay, but remember, when, when, if you look at this, I have this rational expression, right? So I wrote the addition of two rational expressions as one, but you have to make sure that you simplify this. And so now you got to factor the numerator and then factor the denominator. So when I factor the numerator, I get 6 times x plus 3. And then when I factor the denominator, I get 7 times x plus 3. And then notice that the x plus 3 is divide out. you got to show that. And so the answer is just 6 divided by 7. That's your answer. Okay, so that's the answer number 1. That's number 1, 6 divided by 7. Okay, number 2, here's where we have a number 2. So number 2, I have 10x divided by 5x minus 8 minus 16 divided by 5x minus 8. Okay, so notice again the denominators are the same. They're exactly the same, just like these were, except this is subtraction. This is not hard either because you're only subtracting a monomial here. So we're going to do it just like we did this. So we're going to say, all right, since the denominators are the same, I'm going to write this as one rational expression with that denominator. And so the numerator would just be 10x minus 16, just like this. But again, when you have a, a rational expression, you got to make sure you simplify it. So we got to look to see if I can factor anything so notice in the numerator, I can factor out a 2, and I get 2 times 5x minus 8. Because 2 times 5x is 10x, and then 2 times a negative 8 is a negative 16. And my denominator is 5x minus 8, and so notice those divide out. And you got to show that you're dividing those out. And so the answer is just 2 times 1 is 2, divided by 1, which is just 2. So that's the answer number 2. So number 2, the answer is 2. Okay, number three, we have we have five y minus fourteen divided by y squared minus eighty one, and I'm subtracting this rational expression, which is four y minus five divided by y squared minus eighty one. So again, just like the previous two, the denominators are the same, so I can write it as one rational expression. But you have to be careful because you are subtracting a polynomial with more than one term. So, so you cannot say, you cannot say that this is what I'm writing here, which is what some of you are going to do. So some of you are going to say this. That is not true. That is not true. That is not this. Because think about this. Let's go and, and write it here. So what the numerator is saying is this. My first numerator subtract my second numerator. Notice you got to put that in parentheses because you're subtracting all of these terms. So now if you distribute, I get 5y minus 14, and then uh, uh, the opposite of 4y is a negative 4y, and the opposite of a negative 5 is a positive 5. And when I combine like terms, 5y minus 4y is y, a negative 14 and a positive 5 is a negative 9. So that's what this is. So this should have been this. This should have been, see this right here? That should have been a plus 5. So you got to be careful. So, so that step here should have been this. You should have said this. You should have said 5y minus 14 minus in parentheses 4y minus 5 divided by the 
the denominator. Okay, so that's what you should have written next. And then you distribute the negative, which would give you all this. And so you would get you would get 5y minus 14 minus 4y plus 5 divided by y squared minus 81. Then combine like terms, I get this right here. 5y minus 4y is y. A negative 14, a positive 5 is a negative 9. Divided by y squared minus 81. Okay, now once you get to that point, remember you've got to simplify this. So to simplify this, you've got to factor. So notice I cannot factor my numerator any further, but I can factor the denominator. That is a difference of two squares, so you've got to show that. So you've got to say y minus 9 divided by y minus 9 times y plus 9. And then reduce, though the y minus 9s divide out, so your answer is 1 divided by y plus 9. Okay, so that's number number one, uh, number three. So this right here is number three. Okay, so one divided by y plus nine. Okay, now number four. Let's look at number four. So number four, we have seven x divided by x minus four plus twenty eight divided by four minus x. Now. Don't confuse, don't, don't get confused and think that those are exactly the same factor. They're not. Those are opposites. So the opposite of x is negative x. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. And so remember, when we talk about opposites, this is what we said. So basically, if you go back to the lesson, we, we said this, that, that since those are opposites, I can factor out a negative 1 from one of those, and let's use this one. And when I factor, and that's going to be 28 up here in the numerator. And so when I factor out a negative 1, this right here is this, negative 1 times x minus 4. Because look, a negative 1 times x is a negative x, a negative 1 times a negative 4 is a positive 4. Okay? And so notice, now this right here, we talked about this, so, so you're, you're adding a negative, so it becomes a subtraction problem. So that becomes, so I can write a subtraction problem, so it becomes 7x divided by x minus 4 minus 28 divided by x minus 4. Okay? And now, that looks like the previous three problems. So I'm going to write this as one rational expression, and the numerator is going to be 7x minus 28. Okay, now, before you, go any, before you say that's the answer, you remember, you've got to simplify the rational expression. So notice I can factor out a 7. So I get 7 times x minus 4, divide by x minus 4. And so, and so these divide out, and so you just get... 7 as the answer. Alright, so the answer for number 4 is 7. Okay? Alright, number 5. Let's do number 5. Number 5, we have x squared plus 6x divided by x minus 2 minus 5x minus 26 divided by 2 minus x. Okay? All right, so notice again, those are opposites. So let's go ahead and factor out a negative 1 from uh, 2 minus x to so make it look like this. So I get x squared plus 6x divided by x minus 2 minus 5x minus 26 divided by, all right, I'm going to factor out a negative 1 from the denominator. So I'm going to use a negative 1 times. Now remember, when I factor out a negative 1 from here, this factor is going to look exactly like this. And it does. Watch. Negative 1 times x is a negative x. Negative 1 times a negative 2 is a positive 2. Now, what we're going to do next is think about what this says. So this says I'm subtracting a negative factor. So subtracting a negative factor, remember subtracting means add the opposite. So subtracting a negative factor means the same thing as adding that factor. So that becomes x squared plus 6x divided by x minus 2 plus 5x minus 26 divided by x minus 2. And so now the denominators are, are, are exactly the same, so I'm going to write this as one rational expression. So I'm going to get x squared plus 6x. See, this is addition now, so I don't have to put parentheses at all, plus 5x minus 26. So you don't put parentheses here. This is still subtraction. So combining like terms, I get x squared, 6x, and 5x is 11x minus x minus 26 divided by x minus 2. All right, now remember, once you write as one rational expression, you've got to see if you can simplify this. So let's see if I can factor the numerator. 
So in the numerator, uh, let's say I get x, x for 26. Let's try uh, 13 and 2. So 13, 2. The last sign is negative. See, the signs in here are different. And I need the larger of the out and the inner to be positive. So that means this. All right, let's check it. x times x is x squared. 13 times a negative 2 is a negative 26. Uh, the outer is a negative 2x. The inner is a positive 13x. I get 11x divided by x minus 2. And now let's reduce. So it looks like the only thing I can reduce are the x minus 2s. And so I get x plus 13 times 1 divided by 1, which is just x plus 13. So that's the answer number 5. So number 5, I get x plus 13. Okay, now number 6. So number 6, it turns out that we do have one problem in number 6 in which the denominators are different. So remember the worksheet dealt with the two topics. There were two topics and so that's what this worksheet's on. So, they, so number 6 deals with that other topic. So notice that, that w plus 3 and w minus 3 are not exactly the same and they are not opposites. They are not opposites. So what you have to do is find the least common denominator. So remember to find the least common denominator though you must factor all of your denominators. And look at w plus 3 I can't do anything further with it. w minus 3 I cannot do anything else with it. So now remember the least common denominator must include every factor you see in all of your denominators. So if you look at the first one I see a w plus 3 I must use it. The next one I see a w minus 3 I must use it. Okay, And remember the question is just like you've done before. you got to ask yourself how many factors of each do I need? Well, let's look at w plus 3. How many factors of w plus 3 do you see here? Just one. How many do you see here? Zero. So how many do I need? One. W minus 3. How many factors of W minus 3 do you see here? One. How many do you see here? Zero. How many do you need? Just one. So that's your LCD. Now remember, once you find the LCD, you now have to write two fractions with that denominator. W plus 3, W minus 3. W plus 3, W minus 3. Okay? Now you're going to write equivalent fractions. So 9 divided by w plus 3 is equivalent to what fraction with this denominator as the LCD? So let's think about this. So, so I, have, I have 9 divided by w plus 3, right? And I want a denominator that's this, w plus 3, w minus 3. So what is it I've got to multiply this denominator by to get this? So what factor is missing here that I need here? the w minus 3. But what I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator. So this goes here. So 9 times w minus 3. Okay? And then let's do the next one. So the next one, and, and by the way, so, so that's going to be this. 9 times w minus 3. So this, this right here is, is this. See that? Okay, now let's do this one. So w, I'm sorry, 4 divided by w minus 3 equal, and then I want my denominator to be w plus 3 times w minus 3. So for this rational expression, if I look at the denominator, what factor is missing? So the w plus 3. So if I multiply the denominator by w plus 3, I must multiply the numerator by w plus 3. So that's going to go here. So 4 times w plus 3. Okay? Now, once you get to that point, remember the next, e, even though, even though the, the uh, denominators are the same, don't write as one fraction just yet. Let's, let's clear the numerator uh, of the parentheses. So leave the denominator factored. That's important. Leave the denominator factored. You want to multiply the numerators out. So I get 9w minus 27 divided by leave, leave the denominators factored. Okay, minus, and over here, I'm going to distribute the 4. I get 4w plus 12 divided by w plus 3, w minus 3. Okay? Now, I'm going to write as one rational expression. So my denominator is going to be the LCD, w plus 3, w minus 3. Now, this is where I'm subtracting a polynomial that's more than one term. So we need parentheses here. So this will be 9w minus 27, subtract in parentheses this numerator. 
for w plus 12. It's important to put that in parentheses, otherwise you will have an error. And so if I distribute now, or I just say add the opposite, I get 9w minus 27 minus 4w, and if I distribute the negative here, that becomes a minus 12, divided by, leave it factored, leave the denominator factored, and then combining like terms, I'm going to write it right here, combining like terms, 9w minus 4w is 5w, a negative 27 and a negative 12 is a negative 39 divided by w plus 3, w minus 3. Now, the next thing you want to do is ask yourself, can I factor the numerator? Because the denominator is already factored. So can I factor the numerator? If you can, you need to, because it may reduce with, with one that's down here, with a factor that's down there. And the answer is no. Uh, I cannot... It, the, uh, the, the GCF of these two terms is 1. So there's your answer. That's all you do. Okay, so that was the that was number 6. So the, the answer to number 6 is, is um, 5w minus 39 divided by w plus 3 times w minus 3. Okay, so that's going to take care of the key to worksheet number 4.